Howdy, I'm Adam Nettlow, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I think this is probably going to be the last one. We will see. I want to get the last two Stanlerines, if you will, so. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay, yeah, we already know about this. Okay. All of his Ow. co-workers were gone. Look I know. Him. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a map. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just <laughs> smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Always is. The bucket goes with me everywhere. Now I remember I saw one in the Stanley warehouse, which I think was this way. Pace. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out... Yes, he was correct. Was this no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley no. put the door on his left. Nope. Go back to the no, I didn't. Over here. No, said the bucket. Now Don't it's... Go to the meeting room. It's go down here. Else. The cargo Can I? Lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Aha. Uh -huh. You can just jump down here. You're getting Ha ha! Stanley, you've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. <laughs> the annuals. Collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second <laughs> number, and that will be it. Yep. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. Uh -huh. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of and Marines. I like Stan Marines the best still. Okay. Let's see. Something in here. Oh. Oh my. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, this is new. What's in here? Narrator sound system? Oh, what is this? This is day number 209 in my tape number. I don't even know. What is this? Nothing feels real anymore. No, it doesn't. The longer I study this bucket, the less <laughs> sense anything makes. Bucket? Yes. <laughs> Aurea, I feel. Every time I pick it up, this isn't the narrator. No how many times what? I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down doesn't make sense. No, it There's doesn't. No explanation. Doesn't need for to. It. You just need to know that it's right. Haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. <laughs> why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? Keep it for yourself, obviously. I can, can monetize it. No. Don't do that to your friend. The amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. The fuck is but this? I have to be <laughs> because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. Uh, what? <laughs> What's that? Who's there? What does that even mean? What is going on? I swear to god, if there's like a jump scare or something, I won't be upset. <laughs> Terrified, okay. Okay. Oh, I've been happier to see a loading screen. Okay. Alright. All of his co workers were gone. Now, the other one said. Room both red and blue. I think. 
A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed uh -huh. bucket. Why did I turn the wrong way? <laughs> Ignore that. Now, the red and blue, I think, is where it gives the two doors like that, but it's, you know, it's one red, one blue one. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct. Just gonna keep going. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Now, if I remember now, correctly, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. It, go there. Although go I want to. Wanna, the cargo lift. I want. I want to try something else. If I go down here, and I keep going, and go like down and out, what happens if I? But Stanley I just die. Path he walked might lead to the separation of himself from the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death, <laughs> that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Alright, we're just gonna sprint back to... All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Or no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, All right, we're back. We're back here. Bucket. I Don't think go to the meeting it's... room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go. It's good, that way. Said the bucket. Now ride think. the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed the door down there. because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yeah. I think it's in here. No, stop. Um, um. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past what? this point. What? Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? You Unless, absolute... What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about... You absolute bitch. This point, which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding what? could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Okay. Please, step in here for a moment. Why did I do what he said? Just instantly? Why? Is this now, a bucket? <laughs> I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing okay. you is a bucket. I, I'm pretty good at taking Simple tests, enough. so I think I can this do this. This tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, okay let's begin. Okay. Is this a bucket? It's like a game show. Item one. Is this a bucket? I'm pretty sure that's a bucket. Incorrect. What? It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Item two. Is this a bucket? Oh, I can't get closer to... Oh, fuck me. Oh, it is. No! It is a printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Why do you do this to me? I, this one's gonna be a bucket. I, I guarantee it. This one is, this is a bucket. Is this a bucket? This one is. Unless... The one I'm holding is the only bucket. Then no. Fuck. This is a bucket. <laughs> what? God damn it! I fell for it. Now. Is this a bucket? Now that's a bucket. That is a bucket. Hundred percent. Damn it. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Uh, 
I thought I had that one. I really did. Okay. Now, this looks like the last one. So, maybe not. Motherfucker. I, I think it's rigged. I'm calling it. I think it's rigged. It's got to be rigged. Item six. That's a bucket. Is this a hundred percent bucket? Hey! Boom. What? Gotcha. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> thought I got one finally. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here. Somewhere. Is it because I'm holding it? Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me Maybe. Straight, Stan. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Well, if nothing is, isn't a bucket, then everything is a bucket. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Aren't we Do all? any of us know what a bucket is? Probably not. I, a bucket. Maybe. Do you, do you hold stuff? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. <laughs> I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. Don't, I'm going to erase all buckets don't you dare. Okay, here we go. Don't you dare. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, because everything, everything in a bucket. A bucket? I knew Every it. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, no, that's that's I good. Feel much more I thought I was one. Right now. It's delightful to get to some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll mm. know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Huh? <laughs> Aha! We're back. Let's see. All of his co-workers were gone. Now can we bring the bucket into that Stanley area? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The bucket made Stanley want to look. Still says. No, stop. No, look okay. On the wall, you see, there's a sign right there. It says okay. No buckets past this point. I think it's going to give me the same thing again. It's okay to bring the bucket here, unless... What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story okay. is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Uh, I think it's just going to be the same thing. If it is, I'll just see you back here without the bucket. Oh? Oh, this is different. All of his co-workers were gone. What? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a This, night. this, this turned out different. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket. What? But Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. I, am I still gonna... Not <laughs> the right way to the what the room. heck? But Stanley had felt that the bucket had spoken to him. And he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. It still says no buckets past this point. No, stop. No, okay. Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says no buckets past this point. Okay. Stanley, All right. This is still the same. Okay to bring the bucket here. And All right. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket? Yep, and what I, isn't a you know, I'll see you again. <laughs> I explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Guess if I won't bring the true, bucket. Well, my goodness. What could it mean? All right. I guess Stanley we won't take bucket with us. Room. Sorry. Perhaps you have simply missed a memo. When 
So I haven't even gotten to the to open red and blue doors. To the meeting room and standing near perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It's weird to not have the bucket the with me. Was grand, majestic. Perhaps but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Probably. Probably Look, should have been. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Yeah, I know. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes, Are you yes, that I do. Convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but how I dare really you? do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Okay. Look, let me prove it. Aha! Prove that I'm on your side. It is right here. Chance. And there it is. The last Stigley Wiggly. The last Stigley Wiggly. Stanley, this is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't <laughs> have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Okay. Now listen carefully, <laughs> this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, we'll we'll listen to him, but I oh think thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see Only because I, really have wanted you to I, be I happy felt like I needed to. The problem is all these choices. The I don't know if there is actually an ending to it, but running and running I'm guessing and you have to like restart at least. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I'm gonna I do some stuff. I wanted to stop. And I we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh boy. Well, are they both open? Sure. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. What is this? <laughs> Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Quite. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Do you know? I actually feel happy. <laughs> Holy Jesus. This is actually pretty cool. I will, I will give you that. Oh, hello. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> That's almost fully done, but this is something. Can I let go? Oh, okay. Well, let me go off the thing. <laughs> oh, we got a new thing. Huh? At least I have that point of reference still. <laughs> he's not talking to me, and it's a little creepy that he's not. <laughs> Sorry. Admire the scenery, I guess. Yeah. Ah, nice and peaceful. Ooh, get some red in here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so nice. Just, it's a nice change of pace. I'm gonna spiral up again. Oh, that one? Uh, no, never mind. It kind of looks like a heart, but... And... Oh, 
satisfying. Very satisfying. Also, really bright. It's a little too bright. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Pretty nice, actually. So nice. Going on longer than I thought it was going to, to be honest. <laughs> yep, yep, we're still going. Okay, lights are still here. <laughs> this just go on forever. I feel like it just goes on forever. So this is a different room than the one I walked. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> Where am I going? I don't oh, even no. know. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Yeah, that's okay. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Yeah, I've thought about it. Oh, oh. I'm alive. Oh God, you lived. You had me. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't <laughs> go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? It's fun. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God. <laughs> Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You will literally a little bit. To kill yourself to keep me from being happy. I mean, Am I reading the situation correctly? Absolutely. Maybe how am I not dead? A kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? It's the same thing over and over, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so slow. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh-huh. Just gotta keep going. It over. It's going to restart, isn't it? Yes, it I'm is. Going back. Sorry. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, I saw a thing that you have to fully restart the game to get the figurine one. So I'm gonna do that, and I think that's gonna be the last one that I do. So I think this is gonna be it. So let me do that, and I'll be, like, right back. Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for that one. We got all the Stan Lorenes. Now we have to do the figurine ending from what I saw. And it's longer than I thought, so I'm gonna end this one here. We'll do that in the next one. Wrap up the entire series in the next one on a nice round number 10 episode. So I kind of like that, but yeah. As always, make good choices, and bye-bye.